Hi guys, this is Dave from the Quirky Beagle. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. I'm sitting in my very, very hot car. Uh, about to open the windows a crack, so uh, if you can't hear me, I do apologise. Um, I'm kind of putting up a video today, which is uh, one of those videos that YouTube was made for. Uh, it doesn't feature cats or little doggies, um, though I love dog videos, by the way. Um, I, I really do. I think they're such happy, funny little bastards. So... Um, feel free to hit me up with any uh, links to some good uh, dog videos because uh, they crack me up uh, they really do so uh, yeah but it's not a cat video it's not a dog video it's a bit of a rant um, and the rant today is it's about certain people that once in a while you come across in this business and all record dealers particularly bricks and mortar record dealers know about these type of people Often it's the same person over and over. Um, excuse the police going past. Good on them. Hope they uh, hope they get them. There's been a few occasions when I, I've, or in fact, not too many occasions because I don't I don't work in the shop that I have my stock in. I pay for a unit in there, so I'm quite lucky in a way. Um, but once in a while, I'm in there and I I hear somebody rifling through records having a great time you get they, they sound like a squirrel going through the undergrowth undergrowth even then they get to this one record say 100 records in they lift it up look it back and front inside and out and then suddenly they announce oh it's a bit expensive it's a bit overpriced now my customer service response is oh is it oh, I'll look into that my inner response is is it really so you've just flicked through a hundred records and found the one record that you think is overpriced and you've announced it to the whole shop and by the way that's your opinion uh, that it's overpriced you know there's there are various ways that a dealer can check a price um, and one of which is personal experience and so if that personal experience says that wet record's worth 18 quid to me, then it's worth 18 quid. What those people are often saying is, I can get it cheaper online. And, and I don't like being asked to compete with online prices. And it's not because um, online sellers don't have to pay for, uh, like me, I pay rent. Um, I pay um, I pay taxes uh, believe it or not uh, I also uh, pay for materials you know put them in the sleeves and everything so I don't have uh, well, I, I have a few extra expenses but I don't ask the customer to pay for those I don't overcharge ever deliberately I, I never deliberately overcharge to cover my costs instead I'll absorb those costs because I chose a business model that put me in a shop rather than online. Though I do sell some online, so I've got nothing against online sellers. Nothing at all. I, I sell a lot online because I'm also an antiques and collectibles dealer. However, when you compare the service of an online dealer to a bricks and mortar dealer, it's like chalk and cheese. When you come to me, you get to try the record, you get to hold the record, examine the record, you get to look at the cover, back and front. You can smell the record if you want, wouldn't recommend it. Then you get to pay for the record in cash and get the record the moment you pay for it. You take it home and you can listen to it that very night. There's no worries about whether it'll get lost in the post, there's no worries about whether you paid too much for postage, there's no worries about whether it'll turn up in one piece there's no worries about whether the record is exactly what you were told it was gonna be um, none of that there's none of the inconvenience of waiting around for it to arrive you've already got the record you paid for it you went home with it and yeah you might have paid for sometimes even five pound more than you would online but it was worth it surely um, obviously you've got a lot of people who will support local businesses and those people are absolute heroes if they'll go to a shop rather than online, I, I applaud you. you. You are heroes. You are um, saving people like me. 
but it's not just about that it's literally about service online service versus, versus bricks and mortar dealer service it's it's completely different and by the way you can also uh, you can also haggle I'm a dealer you know I, I don't mind knocking a couple of quid off here and there if you're a good customer if you're a returning customer if you're making a bulk purchase out I'll, I'll do a discount of course I will you know it keeps me in business it's it's good customer service you know I'm not a big company with set prices I'll, I'm happy to, to do a deal so next time you're thinking of announcing to a whole shop that this record's overpriced or even writing it online I've got a Facebook page I've got Instagram I'm considering going back to Twitter though it's kind of a pain in the butt yeah, don't go on there and, and say this record's overpriced after you've just flicked through a hundred records which were clearly reasonably priced you might even want to say that I went through 99 records which were absolutely fairly priced but then one of them wasn't in my opinion and that's all it is by the way opinion it, you know, when it comes to Valium records it all comes down to opinion so yeah uh, it's a, a distinct annoyance a lot of dealers get annoyed by it my wife gets annoyed by it and she's uh, she's quite a mellow person really I get annoyed by it and I'm a very mellow person so yeah just just give it some thought before you say something like this record's a bit overpriced um, that's it really don't forget the dog videos uh, have a great day and if at any point you are around uh, Birkenhead don't forget to call into uh, not just vintage on Oxton Road also call into Skelly's if you like your records you know, I can't deny uh, that is a uh, a Wirral icon a Birkenhead icon that shop is awesome so uh, hit up Skelly's then hit me up and have a great day